Hi, I'm the installation specialist from iDesigns. Today I'm going to show you how to install a quad cable system. Most likely your contractor will get all the information he needs, the specific instructions of how to do it. I'm going to give you the basics of how you can install it yourself or have your contractor doing it. With your cable system, all your parts are included and they'll be listed with your instructions. You have a box of hardware, you have your cables, your rods to be attached to the cable, you have actually your light bulbs, you got a cable for your uh, power strip, You have your attachment for the light bulb that goes on each one of the shelves, depending on what cable system you order. And you got your transformer power supply with your power cord. To be able to put braces or secure your cable system above your ceiling, whether you have a ceiling towel, ceiling or sheetrock, you should have a brace above it or from a brace something similar to this that I'm sure your contractor will have great ideas of how to do it and how to brace the system up to where you want it either close to a window close to a wall I will definitely attach something like this to a stud and having the cable system at different measurements And your studs being at a different measurement, that's what we re recommend bracing. That after the braces are put on a stud and on your wall above your ceiling, they can attach a piece of plywood and be able to attach the cable to it. So after you have put your brace on your studs, and if you put a piece of plywood or a piece of wood or anything on your beams, or across the braces and you attach that piece of plywood and let's say it's attached to your supports and ready to be installed into the wood you're going to want to grab this is say you have a ceiling tile that will go underneath your brace so they won't really see what's going on above it and your cable system will be protected and you won't see it and we'll be drilling holes on the ceiling tile. When you're all ready for your installation and be able to put the bracket on the ceiling so you can hang your, your cable, you can run it through the hole that you will drill, pretty small hole so you can run your cable and it'll look nicely dressed up and that's what your cable system will look like when you're looking up up, up on your ceiling all right since I'm doing the 12 inch cable system and whenever you're ready to install it either to your brace or your ceiling just use a regular drywall screw to attach the bracket or brackets so you can screw in your uh, the rod that goes on the cable system. Put your cable to the bracket that we attach to your beam and this not being a construction site or your construction site we're using a, a finished column or beam to show you the basics and that's what it will look like up on your beams after figuring out where your cable system goes above on your beam you want to transfer those holes or those measurements down to your floor using a plumb 
bob or a plumb bowl or any other way your contractor would like to do it and be able to drill to the floor or your ceramic tile using the right equipment. This is what your subfloor or your tile floor will look like attached to the bottom and make sure that your cable system is tight and will be ready to keep assembling. With your power supply, after you have your instructions on how to connect it, you can either put it above on the ceiling and have your power supply from above or if instructed below on the floor. This is what your quad cable system will look like fully assembled. 